I want to get back to you, Reggie. Uh, so I want to hurry up a little bit of questions because I know people want to ask you, but I'm not going to really hurry up too much, but I'm going to expedite a little bit. Being that you were the head of death row um, and you take your work serious, did you ever get blamed for Tupac death? And how did it make you feel, regardless of what side of the spectrum people try to blame you on of it? I never got blamed for the death or anything that I got blamed for in my security getting there. So, but Sid and I have never had a negative conversation with each other about it. Right. But, it was just, you know, it was supposed to be two security all shit on lunch o'clock uh, that night. And one guy by the name of Kevin Hackey didn't show up. Which uh, put us at a disadvantage. Right. The company, even though uh, I'm still an avid believer that um, even if they were there, what could what could have happened? What could have happened? The people that were behind them, as well, meaning the homeboys, right? They chased their car down. They shot their car up. You know what I mean? Those were the guys that I would prefer riding down the street of Vegas shooting. Right. My security was there for, they were there for being a good witness. Supposed to be there with an ID, get a better description of the car, uh, get a license plate if possible, be a good witness, which well, I always blame Frank for not, for not doing. But, other than that, people think security was supposed to, you know, have like an armor car protection around that person. Pac wasn't going to be like that. Michael Jackson would be like that. He'll get, he'll sit in between two, two security guards and, you know, you know riding five deep in the car. Tupac wasn't going to be riding five deep with no security in the car. I mean, we'll try to put him with something like that. He would even put him in a bulletproof car in Vegas. It wasn't happening. We had a bulletproof town car. Right. But you got to under Vegas is like Miami. You know, <laughs> you bring your best car out. You drop top. You're trying to be seen. You know, people talking about a bulletproof vest. Right. Go wear a bulletproof vest and it's 110 degrees. Going to a club. No. I mean, you you expounded on it more than I wanted to, and thank you for not being offended by some of these questions, man. You 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 the definition of what an alpha male is, and not emotional. Thank you for sharing it too with the um, smoke gang. I got some more questions. Yeah, I push a nigga fake, bitch. I hang around them Haitians. Pull up on your tie your kids up, pistol whip you while your bitch naked. Come on, man, seven.